Hello, I'm Dr. Ben Johnson, and I wanted to share with you today about a diagnostic imaging system called ultrasound. Um, many of you have heard of it before. Diagnostic medical ultrasonography is actually the way we say it. It's an imaging system that's uh, just wonderful for imaging many areas of the body. A lot of us have associated it with obstetrics because we know that you can determine the sex of the baby and look at a baby for health in utero with sonography. But there are many other uses for ultrasonography and so let's just start at the top and go over some of those. Uh, for instance, it can be used to image the carotid arteries in the neck. So we can go all the way up to the head with ultrasonography. You can determine plaque and flow issues, other issues in the carotids uh, that may cause a serious problems, even strokes and, and early detection so that we can prevent them, uh, these issues from happening. Early detection is the key. If we can detect things early, we can do something about it before the damage occurs. So we can look at the carotids, we can look at the thyroid, you know, we have an epidemic of thyroid disease in our nation right now because of iodine deficiencies and other issues, chloride displacing iodine, things like this. But with ultrasound, you can see uh, thyroid tumors, goiter, and other issues of the thyroid. Moving on down to the chest, it's a great imaging system for breast. Uh, many women have had the experience of getting uh, x-ray mammograms and then finding a problem and having to go for an ultrasound to determine exactly what the issue is. Well, why not just do the ultrasound in the first place? It's uh, There's no compression of the breast, no smashing of the breast, no pain involved, and there's no cancer-causing x-rays like there are with mammograms. So it's a, it's a, the other important thing with breast is that it's a dynamic system. You can move the transducer around and look at the cyst or the tumor or whatever you're looking at from many different directions, helping give you a better idea of what you're really looking at, as opposed to a mammogram, which just produces a single static image and you, you can't turn it and look at it from different directions. So it's actually a better test in many ways because it's dynamic. Moving on down to the abdomen, uh, you can go over the whole abdomen. The pancreas, the liver, the common bile duct, the gallbladder, spleen, kidneys. Uh, you can look at the, the virtually the entire abdomen organ system with this, looking for cyst, stones, polyps, even looking at the aorta for aneurysms. So it's a very thorough system looking at, at many different possibilities in the body. Moving on down to the pelvis, we talked about use, uh, uses of ultrasound for obstetrics, but uh, you don't have to be pregnant to use this. Uh, you can look at the ovaries, image the ovaries, uh, the uterus for fibroids, the endometrial lining, different issues, and uh, if you can image that from above, that's called transabdominally, or vaginally, that's called transvaginally. It's also a test for men because if you want to image the, the prostate, again, you can image from above by filling the bladder up with water, or you can image uh, below transrectally. So you can get really good pictures of the pelvic area, whether it's the uterus ovaries that you're looking at or the prostate for men. And then testicles. It's a great way to image testicles. In fact, I've never even heard of anybody taking a picture of, of the testicles with, with an x-ray machine. So this is the way we image those, looking for vascular flow, uh, looking for tumors, cysts, hernias, other issues of the testicles. Uh, but we don't stop there with the abdomen. Uh, you can go all the way into the legs, the arms. You, you can look for blood flow in the arteries. We can even measure blood flows just like we can in the carotids, looking for plaque, looking for the blood flow. And then uh, you can look at the venous system. 
determining whether there's a clot. So as you can see, there's a vast array of things that we can see with medical ultrasonography. So if you're having an ultrasound today, enjoy your experience. Your physician will get a lot of usable information from it. Thank you.